Hey guys, Natalia Perez here, Big Boys Neighborhood, Real 92.3 on the black carpet of Fifty Shades of Black. We talked to all the stars of the film, including Marlon Wayans and Callie Hawk. Take a look. After this, uh, have you figured out any boundaries you have sexually? Uh, I have uh, probably a few. Um, anything having to do with, uh, uh, no, I like feet. Feet is fine. Uh, anything having to do with my butt, like your butt, fine. Mine, no. Nah. I'm good with that. You have a G spot in there. I don't need to find that one. <laughs> yes. Were there any moments that you might have shocked Marlon with you being outrageous and having no boundaries? Oh, absolutely. I think during the kissing scene, the first day that we were working together, we were in an elevator kissing each other for six hours. And at first, he was very gentlemanly because he didn't know what was going to happen. But there's a moment where you lock eyes with a person and you're just kind of letting them know, like, I might do something crazy. You're going to be okay with it and he sort of fake licked my face, but he had like this skill where he did it, but he didn't actually lick my face. I didn't have that skill. I just licked his face and he was like, oh yeah. And after that, it was just, it was crazy. Like he knew that he had a partner that he could just, he could play with. And the most I was gonna do was get annoyed, but I wouldn't stop the take. When you were signed on to this film, did you say to Marlon like, I have some boundaries. Here's what I'm not willing to do. No, because that's what we do, you know what I mean? Marlon know why he hired me. He hired me because I'm crazy and I'll do some crazy shit on front camera. Speaking of crazy, have you ever hurt yourself while hooking up? Hooking up how? You know, any kind of hooking up. Yeah. What happened? I was trying to hook my car up. <laughs> Did you have any uh, prerequisites of like boundaries? Were you like, here's what I won't do though? I had a couple, but I can't say what they are right now. Until you see the movie, then you'll know what they are. You know, I really liked uh, Jenny behind you in the trailer where she's just like mimicking how big you are. That was really, really funny in the trailer. What else can we expect in the film? Because I haven't seen it yet. Oh, so you can expect the reveal of what she was talking about. Uh, yeah, you might want to stick around for that. <laughs> Jenny, we're going to play a little game called Is It a Sex Toy? Are you ready? The Jimmy Jane. Not a sex toy. It is. It's for a female. It's for a girl. Yeah, it's for a girl. What about the Transformer? That's a sex toy. Yes, it is. And the prairie dog. I think that's a sex toy. I made it up. Ah. <laughs> I think that's what I'll call my sex toy when I make one. The prairie dog? Why, because it burrows underneath? Yeah, maybe. It only really shows up every once in a while. Richard Gere kind of inspired me a little bit. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I'll throw back for you there, guys. When it comes to sex, do you have any boundaries? Just, uh, I don't like when, like, a girl tries to spread my butt. You know what I mean? Like when they're when they try to control the butt cheeks, like don't do that. Yeah. Look at this moment happening. Ready? Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, all right. No fingers. See, that's what I say as well. Just in other areas. Uh, what? Have you ever accidentally hurt yourself while hooking up? Uh, have I? No, but I did hear about a dude who uh, broke his penis. No. A girl's butt. Yeah, he like. I guess slipped out and tried to go right back in. And Do you know how long he was out for? I don't know, but <laughs> she said it looks like an L now. <laughs> He's crooked penis now. Aww. Yeah. I one time burned my hair. Oh, you did? Yeah. Too many candles. Candles? Yeah, yeah. It happens to the best of us. I'm going to say that. It does. 